Okay, hello everybody, welcome to my class. Oh, my name is uh, Mr. Trainer. if you don't know me. Um, I am here to be your science teacher this year. So we have a new student over here, how are you doing? Are you doing good? Good. I just gave you what I am for this year. You were a little bit late, we did go over the rules, but I will tell you now. So, tell you now of the safety contract that we went over as a class prior to this. So now, one of the things during the safety contract is that you must have it signed and give it back to me once, so then you can be able to do the labs. Now some of the things that are on it is that make sure that whenever we do a lab that uses chemicals, make sure that you always have pants, as can be seen right here, always have pants, and then also always have a long sleeve shirt. Now. Now, another thing you could have is a long sleeve hoodie, but make sure that it's not baggy and all over the place. Okay? Now, the next thing we want to talk about is make sure that whenever you're using the cylinders and all the chemical stuff, make sure that before you use it, you know how to use it. Now, if you don't know how to use it, you can ask a fellow student, so then they can show you how to use it, so then you can be able to use it within the future. Now. Another thing that you must wear during labs is that you must wear closed-toed shoes. This does this means that you cannot wear flip-flops. You cannot wear little slipper things that where where you're not wearing any sh any any socks on your feet. So you must always wear closed-toed shoes. Now another thing that you must have with you at all times in the classroom, just in case that we do any calculations, is a calculator. This is a TI-84, which is what we require. And next on the list is when you're doing a lab, make sure that you must have eye protection. Now this right here is not the eye protection that you want. Since when I put it on, I do not have anything covering the zones over here, nor is there another lens right here. The glasses that you will want will be found in the cabinet over there. Now, another thing is that during a lab, phones may not be allowed at all times. This is also a known distraction. You must always use a calculator for using a calculator. You may not use the calculator on the phone app. Now, another safety thing is during a lab that requires a group, you may not wear earbuds. You may not wear these during a lab that requires a group because it is group work, so you must not Basically, you need to hear what your group partners are also saying to you. Now, this can be used if you're doing individual work during a lab, like if you're doing a formal lab and you need to type up the discussion and conclusion without a group member, you can use these. Now, where was I now? Hmm. Oh yeah, and make sure that whenever you come into my classroom, I do require a laptop. And basically, also make sure that you've noted with me your allergies, so then I know what you're allergic to, so then I can make accommodations to you during labs that use any of the things that you might be allergic with. Okay? Okay. So, so yeah, that's basically my classroom, and also, um, just basically when you're doing the lab, listen to all these rules, make sure you know how to use everything, follow the directions. If you do not follow the directions, you will get a different result, which could result in a, a lower grade just to tell you that and then also make sure that you know how to work everything and if you're not fine working something ask a student who knows but highly recommend asking me thank you and yeah I will be talking to you soon or maybe maybe not if you need any questions just come by my office I have a free period so yeah you're good to go